to the popcorn thank you for clicking on this video if you guys are new my name is stephanie today we're gonna to be talking about bad boys for life i was very tempted to do the song but you're gonna hear the song everywhere so like this video because i didn't do the song because i'm sure right now you're tired of it bad boys for life it comes out january the 17th it is rated r it is two hours and four minutes long and then of course we do get Martin Lawrence and Will Smith back So going in I honestly went with very low expectations well I guess not necessarily low expectations my expectations were just about like right here they weren't too low they weren't too high I was just like I don't have good feeling about this I mean there was production problems problems with the director uh, oh this is not directed by Michael Bay it's directed by two of you guys I'm not even gonna pronounce her names, you guys, because <laughs> it's me. That's what I'm known for, you guys. That's what I'm known for. So, of course, Marcus and Mike, they're older. Uh, Marcus is ready to retire. I mean, he's been trying to retire forever. So, like I said earlier, a bunch of issues that they had. And then it's a January movie, you guys. I mean, I would have had higher expectations if maybe it came out during like spring break, you know, early summer release. And I would have had high expectations. But for a mid January movie, I was just like, this surprisingly it was good it wasn't great it wasn't fantastic it's pretty much like the same as the first two which i am a fan of i know a lot of people were not fans of those or just are too young and haven't seen them um a lot of people just hate part two i personally love both parts i would buy the movie to add it to my collection actually i don't even think i have either one of the movies i have no collection to add it to but if I had the other two movies, maybe I do. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I got sidetracked. I got sidetracked. I think I may have it. If you guys are new here, just know I tend to wander off. But I, I always come back. I, I come back all the time, you guys. Um, I like where the story ended up. I like how it's very believable that this is where they are in life. There are quite a few surprises. Um, to give or not to give spoilers um i will not give you spoilers okay i i i do want to because there is one very good surprise because we do get something from part two it's a very small role and a very small part but it was a very memorable scene from part two that we now get over here um which is very funny when when you see it it's just like what okay and it still has the same kind of like dumbfounded look on their face um i don't know did you guys figure out what it is without seeing it with that um <laughs> i try not to but i do want to give you spoilers but i won't i give you clues and hopefully see if you're able to decipher my not so very well placed clues all right let's continue with the, 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 the deal i'm not perfect at, at all by any means perfect um definitely a movie that you kind of have to switch your brain off just like a little bit because then you'll see like all the flaws like i was going i was like this is not realistic what just happened to you which actually something that involves like marcus um and i'll get to that here just in a bit it's just like you shouldn't be acting the way that you're acting or more of a personal story and not just like case not just something that they're you know like looking out for drug dealers or arm dealers i think the first two were just drug dealers weren't they um and then of course here uh we don't have like the damsel in distress i mean i know in part two we did have gabrielle union and she was really strong but at the end she did end up getting kidnapped um in this movie we do have more of uh powerful women in here uh which is gate del castillo and she is a freaking a badass i freaking love her if you guys don't know who she is she is a very a well-known mexican actress and i mean you don't fuck with her she's like una bruja not mess with somebody who messes around with the santa muerte like don't because I'm gonna say about that because I don't want people coming after me. But like, I mean, just her very first scene, you guys, so ruthless. I just go over with a few of the things that I did not like from the movie, and that would be the whole ammo team, where Vanessa Hudgens, Alexander Ludwig, which I understand his character. I did not like his character. Yes, there at the end, which was predictable. A lot of the things in this movie, you guys, is very predictable. Um. I, I wasn't here for his character. I was just like, really? Um, and then Charles Melton. I think the movie could have done without it. Um, I mean, I get where they're going with it. You know, we're like in a whole new generation. You know, the Mike and uh, Marcus are ready to retire. Well, 
Mark is ready to retire. Mike is still like thinking he's like in his 20s. But you know, it's kind of like out with the old and with the new. I mean, there was nothing really like childish about their um characters like that i just you know i just, i wasn't really here for them so this is where i'm going to kind of circle back to that part that i was talking about earlier when isabel which is played by Kate del castillo there's this part where she's basically kind of beating up marcus with like a piece of glass and literally like i said she's crazy she's badass literally like stabs them in all the right areas that were for sure put him down like seriously if this was like a different character just like a little side extra um they probably would be dead for sure would be dead but yet marcus is is kind of okay we do get an unexpected death i mean mind you as the story goes on i was just like i bet you this character's gonna die again predictable it has quite a bit of predictable deals and you the big wow i was just like oh wow i i, I didn't see that one coming i've been debating whether to recommend this movie for you guys or not and I feel like if you are for sure like a huge Bad Boys fan, definitely go and check this movie out. Um, definitely some of Will's better work because last year I was really not here for anything that he did. I think that when you go see the movie, definitely don't go in with high expectations. If you go in like expecting like wow and like this and that, then I feel like you're going to be disappointed because to me personally, it wasn't wow. Like I said, I am a fan of Bad Boys. We're continuing with my popcorn rating. I kind of do dig it. Giving it um, a medium popcorn rating. Like I said, it's not amazing. It's not fantastic, but it didn't suck and it was enjoyable and it was entertaining so if you've seen bad boys for life let me know down below what you guys thought about it did you like it did you learn did you hate it or was it just not for you um if you haven't seen it yet are you looking forward to seeing it are you gonna pass on it let me know but before you guys click on this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye